recording. Welcome to the first episode of the Half-Ass Cooking Show. Today we're going to eat ass. Eric and I didn't get the idea to do this cooking show until like five minutes ago, so I already mixed up the seasoning for the, the pork butt. Okay, so the seasoning, it's brown sugar, I don't, I don't remember, cayenne pepper, crushed red pepper, some cumin, uh, I think I used paprika, I don't know. I definitely use smoked paprika though. A bunch of salt, crap. Uh, some other salt, sea salt, uh, uh, sweet onion sea salt, uh, fresh ground pepper, and I don't know, well, I don't have the measurements for any of this stuff because I just, I just put it in here. But let me tell you, I'm gonna taste notes. Uh, it's super sweet because it's it was half a bag of brown sugar, and it has hints of, man, I don't know, like I don't do these. Oh, it's got hints of, it's got earth tones, and fuck, it's delicious. That's what it is, and it's a little spicy. So we're gonna we're gonna put this on the we're gonna put this on the pork butt, and that's that's gonna be the bark as it smokes on the grill. So let's do it. General rule of thumb is you want your grill to be between 225 and 250 degrees Fahrenheit, and you want to keep it at that temperature and you want to cook the pork on the grill for uh, about an hour for every pound. And this is a five pound butt, so it's gonna take about five hours to cook. So, you know, usually every 30 minutes I come out, check the heat, add more wood chips for the smoke, and then in five hours it's, it's awesome. So, super simple. You just have to stay on top of it. Ugh. And obviously, put it over in direct heat, so. Close it and then just like go drink beer until it's done. That's gonna take way too long to make, and I'm hungry now, so I'm gonna make a sandwich. And I'm gonna show you how to make a sandwich. Uh, step one is you go to the fridge and you grab a beer, and now you have a beer while you make your sandwich, so you're not miserable. And then step two is you take your bread, and it's in this bag here, because they package it in a bag. And you open the bag up, you know, you get your bread out. You need two slices because you got a bottom slice and a top slice. I got my slices. So you take all of these, sit off the side. You don't need that anymore. And then, what is it, step three now? I already, I already uh, left track. Yeah, I don't, it's, next step. Next step! Fuck, you take your, you get whatever condiments you want. We have mayonnaise and mustard. I'm putting mayonnaise and mustard on it, so you just take some mayonnaise and you spread it, spread the shit on there. You know, if you want a lot of, you know, shit on it, you put a lot on there. So it's all up to you. Just kind of slather that shit around. You want to get it like in the crevices of the bread. So it really saturates it, uh, and it becomes one. And you really bring up the flavor. I don't, it doesn't really sound like you know what you're talking about. I know how to make a sandwich, and it's pretty much all I know how to make. Okay. Um, I burn spaghetti, so I'm a horrible cook. The next step, you take your meat, you know, whatever meat you want. I have turkey, Just throw your meat on there. Um, your, the meat you eat. Not the other meat. And however much you want on there. And the other slice. Cool. Now we have meat. Now you take cheese, unless you're a weirdo and don't like cheese or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Or if you're lactose intolerant, then I guess it's okay. But anyways, take your cheese and you throw some cheese on this bitch. And then final step, put your top slice on. And now you have a sandwich. And now it's time for the taste test. The moment of proof. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Bon Oh. Bon Eat the sandwich. It's dang. I don't think it's that good. Oh, 
A barbecue is nothing without barbecue baked beans, and I've never made those before. I usually just, you know, get baked beans in a can, like bushes, and then they have to heat them up. That's really shitty. A little while ago, I had baked beans at a local restaurant, and they were amazing. They were made, they made them there in the restaurant, and it was the best thing I ever tasted, so I'm gonna try to make some baked beans myself. First step, first thing you need is you need to fry up an onion and some garlic. So, let's cut onion. Cut this way, cut this way, and then I just do, oh, I fucked it up. I usually take the skin off first, and I didn't do that, but I'm gonna do that now. So let's just get rid of that shit. Get rid of that. That fell out, and I guess it just doesn't wanna be a part of this recipe. Get rid of all this junk. Whatever. That's how I live my life. Whatever. Whatever works. That's how I cook. Just whatever works. You do, you do what you think works best. Cooking, you don't need a recipe. You don't need to follow things to a T. You do what you think is good. And you're probably gonna fuck it up. But experience is just a culmination of fuck ups. So, just get out there and cook. Fucking smash it! And that's how you open. Okay. I really need to calm down sometimes. And you know what? We're still gonna, we're, we're gonna, we're, I'm still gonna set it. Peel the little cloves of garlic and, uh, and then we'll chop it up. And that's what I mean when I say kind of just cook to feel. Do whatever, man. Smell it. If, you, if it smells like it belongs in your recipe, then it probably does. Alright, so I'll kind of just cook the onions and garlic until they're golden brown and all that fun stuff. And then we're going to throw in the spices, which the spices I have for this are salt, ground pepper, black pepper, whatever. Rub sage, and I have some ground mustard, so I put that in there. 